take notice to all brave, healthy, able-bodied, and well-disposed young men in this neighborhood, we who have any inclination to join the troops now raising under General Washington for the defense of the liberties and independence of the United States. America, go America! My troops have gathered here for a single purpose, to fight for our independence and our liberty. We must show the world that even our army is small, our hearts be true for the red, white, and blue. We will defeat the British to the last soul. Good morning, and thank you for attending, because it meant a lot to me and the brave kids who gave their lives in order to act out as soldiers to do this video. Get it? So before we start, I'd like to give out a special thanks to Ryan Walter, Jack Pappas. That's me! Richie Brown, Jordan Momando, Sam Brogan, Jacob Brogan, Tommy Murphy, Colin Kremis, Joy Rush, Connor Shanahan, Dean Sal, Nick Garino, and Justin Ma. Not to mention my loving parents, Mom and Dad Pappas, because it took a lot of time, work, and money for them to get me everything I needed. And I wanted to honor them, and I wanted to say... I'm very grateful for the people who helped me with this project because this grade means a lot to me. So, sit back. It's time to relax, and I hope you enjoyed the video because we worked very hard on this. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoy. All right, we are here. We must move our troops over here to cut the British off. Command your troops to move out immediately. Yes, sir. Do you think that'll work? I hope so, due to, the, due to the shortage of our troops. What is it, Private Jack? The Redcoats have been marching up the hill. This is an outrage. Indeed it is. I know, sir. I saw them. Captain, prepare the troops. We cannot let the British break our defenses. Forward, march. Come on. Independence, not to run away. Command your troops to form a line. Yes, sir. Forward, march!
7th Regiment. Lieutenant Brian Walker, 47th Regiment. British Officer Connor Shanahan, 47th Regiment. British Officer Reggie Brown, 47th Regiment. Soldier Jacob Brogan, 47th Regiment. British Soldier um, jo Joseph Rush, 47th Regiment. British Officer Dean Cassell, 47th Regiment. Soldier Ty Murphy, member of the Continental Army. American Soldier Sam Brogan, member of the Continental Army. American Flag Wielder Justin Ma, member of the Continental Army. Soldier Danny Murphy, member of the Continental Army. American Officer Jack Pappas, member of the Continental Army. American General Colin Kremis, member of the Continental Army. American General John Pappas, member of the Continental Army. British General Christopher Pappas. 47th Regiment. The Battle of Bunker Hill didn't decide the whole war. In fact, it was just one part of the revolution. In reality, it took three charges for the British to finally take Bunker Hill due to the gunpowder shortages of the Continental Army. Sadly, this forced the Continental Army to retreat in defeat. In this harsh battle, both sides lost a good amount of men. After the war in the north was suppressed, war moved down to the south, where a vicious battle took place, the Battle of Yorktown. Now, the Battle of Yorktown, due to the Continental Army and the French allies, surrounded the British in the south. They laid cannon fire upon them nonstop, and when the British figured out that the Navy wouldn't come to their aid, it was a sad defeat for them leaving them to lay down their arms, and America had gained victory and independence. Thanks to General George Washington, the war was won. By using the strategy of element of surprise in the war, he caught the British off guard at almost every battle, and pushed them back to the point when they surrounded them and laid cannon fire upon them. <sighs> he was a great leader and he led his American troops to a victory of independence. But of course, let's not forget the brave souls who gave their lives in order to win independence for this country. I'm freezing out here. Thank you all for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.